Mm, Tuesday night, I think I'm in uh, Salisbury or something like that. Salzburg, Salisbury, Mass. It's something called the Winter Circle. There it is, two floors. I don't know, pizza, food, 80 TVs. I don't know, must be different rooms. I've heard it's a good mic, so you gotta sign up in advance. They dropped the thing like twice a year. They dropped it in June and like maybe January, and then you can sign up. Like seven slots every night. I don't know. Maybe some Boston people come here too or something. So we'll see what's going on. We're going inside the winner's circle. So it's still Tuesday night. It's still winter circle. And I got the host of tonight's show. What's your name? Hi, I'm Dennis. Dennis Fogg. Dennis Fogg. And you've been doing comedy for a while now. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while. Yep. And you were mentioning all these freaking great people that you've done comedy with back in the day. All yeah. kinds of people. Like everyone. Yeah. Everybody that does comedy. All these people have done anymore. my show. Freaking, yeah. uh, you've done comedy with. Oh, yeah. I've been around for a long time. Awesome. So I got a whole bunch of cards. And, uh... Just pick something out and... Um, yeah, yeah I, I saw that you do this and I think it's hilarious. I've been watching some of the videos and I couldn't wait to try this one. Awesome. And, you know, my favorite thing is Harry and the Hendersons. Wow. I don't know if you remember Harry and the Hendersons. Of course. It was a great show. Yeah, um, and John Lithgow. John Lithgow. Yep. And, and boy, when he saw the dead the dead bodies that Lithgow had had of other animals like on the wall and stuff like that, Harry and the Henderson flipped out. Right, 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 so right, 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 right. I kind of re kind of remember that show. Yep, and, and he, they had to have a guy that looked ferocious, but then could do that face. It just, oh, it just melt the crowd. Right, right, so right, 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 right. So I right. can't wait to open up with cards and see which awesome. one we got, because it was one of my favorite shows. I, I always think it's only, I think a pack of this has only been open one time. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you yeah. never know what people will open. Well, it's, it's true because everybody remembers what they remember. Exactly. Exactly. They, they, they can remember Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, that's the day that my dad beat me. <laughs> but no, no, I, I remember I had ice cream. So right, yeah. right. Yeah, it was that. weird because that and Alf were like a year or two apart, and it was like, what's up with these like puppeted sort of costume creatures? Right. I, I never knew who was inside the costume either. They never really talked about that. I wonder if it was. It had to be somebody really tall. Well, wasn't was Lithgow? Wasn't Lithgow the? He was the main. Oh, actor. he was the he was the dad yeah. or something. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was great. Well, I maybe it was Lou Ferrigno. Hey, what? show a card. Wait, these are the greatest cards, man. These are the old style. When you get the gum, the gum is the best too. I know I'm gonna eat it later when nobody's looking, but the gum is the best. It's probably what do you say, thirty years, forty years well, old. Well, it'll say on the package because you had to 1987. That's yeah. the year I graduated high school. Uh, yeah, I was so. still jacking off then back time. It was good time. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. All right, just Thank sign the card much. for me, and then uh, you will. can keep the others if you so desire. I will. Awesome. Thank you. And what, how do you like the scene around here? It's really good. The Winter Circle is a great place to practice, but I'm from the great state of Maine. Oh, that's right. Uh, do you do the Portland scene at all? Oh, yeah, I live do you in do Portland. Do you do Bedford and stuff on yeah, Wednesdays? I'm everywhere. So yeah. I'll maybe see you up there. That'd be great. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks Thank so much. You. Have a good one. Bye. Go see live comedy. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, Dave. So this guy, Mr. David Bacon. David Bacon, come on. Woo!
Because you were choking it too much? <laughs> that joke has to be hacked, but uh, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? That is the greatest suicide joke I've ever heard. <laughs> Good evening. My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> Three's Company. My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. Uh, I need Metamucil. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. I have uh, met and shook hands with both Biden and Trump. Uh, I'm not impressed. That's the whole joke, because they're not impressive. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery, but they are fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. And then once the most pleasurable part on the mail is removed, they seem surprised some dudes move on to number two. I think someone mentioned about the, uh, the pleasurable spot. Now, so I don't have to go into that one. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. <laughs> Possible college grads. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why can't you just fall in love? <laughs> Love is a zero. People sometimes seem repulsed uh, when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. Then I remind them, you eat ass. Oh. <laughs> one is more pleasurable, but one is more nutritious. <laughs> this is just a premise. Collecting sneakers seems gay to me. <laughs> now, I'm a hoarder. I'm not sure if any of you are. It's time for hoarders to come out of the closet. I need the space. As a dude, I feel it's my responsibility to bleed more often than my lady. So once a week, I like to go camping and frolic around in the pricklers. Or some kind of prick gets me to bleed once a week. It's a rough anal sex joke. I don't understand getting tattoos. Because 99% of the time, you're making yourself more asymmetrical. Like, I'm too pretty. No, you're not. The coolest thing about the gun is if you add another hump, it becomes the gum. Do you want that for the one? Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if I've been abandoned by Odysseus or Percy Jackson, but I can't seem to escape the locus ears. <laughs> and I'll end with this one, I think. I think E.E. E. Cummings could have been more successful if only he would have capitalized on his poetry. Thank you very much. Wait, you're like, you're like, oh, I forgot to eat the gum. This and I'm, is the I'm most not, important part. And I you weren't even going to do it on camera, but I, now I'm like, I'm turning it back on. That's Morgan hilarious. Morgan gum from, let me make sure, 1978. Mmm, I don't. I've heard chalky on some of the early gum. Oh, wow, no, it's delicious. <laughs> it's got to be the worst thing in the world. It's 70, it's like, it's almost 50 years old. It's 40. It's 40 turning more into a pixie stick. Oh, yeah. You're not stealing if you let us know, though. Okay, great. I'm gonna, gonna become gum. No, it's just gonna dissolve. 
for Simeon Goodson, it just dissolved in his mouth. Uh, I hope I, 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 I absorbed some of Robin's essence. For the, yeah, uh, he didn't eat the gum. I didn't get him in time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> not, it's kind of a mothball thing? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. There's but, logic to that. I wouldn't regret it. Maybe it's filled with those nitrogens. Boom. Well with that. All right.